children, uh, well, into this class in this language, we shall continue the lesson which we started in the last class. Uh, in the last class, we took up a new lesson that is uh, the tenses, okay, uh, where we talked about the 12 types of tenses, uh, which is for, you know, and how they are formed by using, uh, you know, three tenses and four aspects, the 12 types, how they are formed. We read that and uh, a bit of recap on what we actually did in the last video lesson. Well, in the last class, we exclusively dealt uh, with the present tense okay and the uses of you know the four uses of present tense that is uh, the simple present tense a uh, simple uh, sorry present continuous tense um, present uh, perfect tense and present perfect continuous tense okay that we studied in the last class okay so today's lesson is uh, in today's class we shall uh, uh, just focus on you know past tense Okay, that is and the different, uh, you know, the uses of uh, past tense, like uh, uh, the past tense, uh, past continuous tense, past perfect tense and past perfect continuous tense. So these four tenses we are going to uh, focus in today's class. Okay, so let's get started. First, simple past tense. Okay, what is simple past tense? Simple past tense is used to talk about uh, action uh, talk about the completed action in the past. So simple past tense, what does it talk about? It talks about, uh, you know, uh, it talks about the completed action in the past. Okay. Uh, see, uh, you know, in the last class also, I told you uh, there is a certain structure that we have to follow while doing these tenses, right? Like, just like I told you, like, just like in maths, we have formula and formulas, etc. Like that only in English language also while doing tenses, like, you know, there, there is a sort of formula. It's not exactly a formula. We call it a structure. Okay. So what is the structure, you know, uh, that uh, that is used to form, uh, you know, simple simple past tense then well the same you know the simple past tense can be formed by using structure that is the subject plus verb in the uh, past form okay subject plus verb in the past form plus object okay now let us try to this, see this structure in the sentence example okay for better understanding okay see the first sentence i played basketball with my teammates yesterday okay this is the first example i'll i'll give you two examples and there i tell i'll tell you what is the difference okay the first uh, sentence is i played basketball with my teammates yesterday okay now the second sentence is again i ate three oranges this morning uh, in the breakfast okay now if you see in the first sentence if you see in the first sentence what is the subject subject is i right what is the verb verb is played okay now in this uh, in this sentence i have used the verb played p l a y e d played right now uh, what is the base form of this word the the past tense you know the base form of played is what play isn't it okay now your well, the past tense of play is what played Okay, I've used the word played. Now, there are some verbs, you know, year, the verb, the year in this sentence, uh, the past tense has been formed by adding ed to the base form of the word. The base form of the word or the base form of the verb in this sentence, I played basketball with my team, teammates yesterday. Now, in this sentence, what is the verb? Verb is played. What is the base form of this verb? Play. Played is made from the word play, isn't it? Okay, now there are some verbs, uh, you know, uh, which can be, you know, uh, I mean, there are some, uh, you know, uh, verbs whose past tense can be formed by adding ed to the words. Now, such kinds of verbs are called uh, regular verbs. Remember, uh, in, the la in the past uh, lessons, we talked about the different types of verbs. We talked about, uh, you know, uh, regular verbs and irregular verbs okay okay quick uh, quickly i'm going to tell you what regular verb is well a regular verbs are those verbs you know whose past tense can be formed by adding ed to the word okay by adding ed to the end of the word right and what is irregular verb an irregular verb is a verb where you need not add ed to the uh, you know, ed towards the end of the verb, it, it, it takes a different form. Like in sentence number two, see, I ate three oranges this morning in the breakfast. Now, what is the verb here? Verb is eat. What is the uh, base form of the verb eat? It is eat. So here, we are not adding 
uh, you know, uh, see, what's the spelling of eat? E-A-T, eat, isn't it? Okay, what is the past tense? A-T-E, eat. So we are not adding E-D to the word eat. Are we saying E-A-T, E-D? No, isn't that's completely wrong. So this kind of verb where you do not add E-D, you know, whose past tense cannot be formed. A verb whose past tense cannot be formed by adding E-D is called irregular verbs. So in the first sentence, the verb is played where you have made the past tense by adding ed. Okay. In the second sentence, the verb is what? Uh, the, the verb is eat, which, you know, which is formed from the base word what? Uh, eat, whose, where, you, where you, you have not added the word ed. Okay. It's irregular verb. So these are some examples of what? Simple past tense. All right. Now we will see the second, uh, uh, that is past Continuous tense. All right. Now, what is past continuous tense? Well, a past continuous tense. I'll just to give you a brief definition first. We'll try to understand that. Well, a past continuous tense indicates an action which started in the past and continued in a certain time period. Okay. Uh, what is past continuous tense? A past continuous tense, uh, you know, uh, indicates an action. That has been started, okay, that has been started in the past and is continued in a certain period of uh, time period, all right? See, uh, to form, you know, this past continuous tense can be formed by using a structure. What is the structure for making past continuous tense? The structure is subject plus was or were plus verb in the ing form okay uh, you know whenever you we talk about uh, continuous tense uh, what comes immediately in our mind what comes immediately in our mind verb with ing form right okay so here how is uh, past continuous tense form then well what is the structure structure is first the subject plus either was or were plus verb in the ing form understood okay why was or were why was or were then how do we you know when do we use was and were very often children ask me question you know uh, I mean I mean ask question in the sense you know when I'm when I'm making some corrections in the copies and all you know uh, instead of was they they write were or instead of were they write was and they ask me why why are we using was can't we use were instead of was well the that doubt will be clear here well I'll tell you see when do we use was for a subject you know, we use was for a subject like what? I, he, she, it. If the subject, subject means, you know, the doer in the sentence. If the subject of the sentence is beginning of the sentence, you know, I mean, you know who is the subject? Subject is a doer, isn't it? So if the subject of the sentence is I, he, she or it, then you use the word uh, use the word was, W-A-S, was, okay. And if the subject of the sentence is you, we, they, then you use the word what? W-E-R-E, -E, word. All right. For better understanding, we'll see some sentence example. And the first example that I put up there, just straight out, number one is, I was playing basketball when you called me up. Okay, I was playing basketball when you called me up. See, uh, I've used the word was here, right? Was. Why? Because the subject is what? Subject is I. So, see, let us see the structure. Is the structure correct? I. I told you, you not know, the structure for past con uh, continuous tenses. Subject plus either was or what plus verb in the ing form. Okay, see, subject is what is the subject here? Subject is I. Okay, then we've used was. What is the verb in the ing form here? What? Playing. Right, playing. And what's the object? Basketball. So you see the structure, did you see? So this is the correct way of writing. Okay, past continuous tense. Now, let, let us see the second sentence. You were sleeping when daddy called up. You were sleeping when daddy called up. Okay, so here... The, we are, you, we, we've used the word were. Remember either was or were. But here in this sentence we've used what? W-E-R-E were. Why? Because it's because the subject is what? You. Alright. So what is the subject in the sentence? The subject is you. Then followed by uh, subject plus 
were plus verb in the ing form. What is the verb in the ing form? It is sleeping. So, like, did you see that? Okay, right. Now, let us see the next uh, uh, past perfect tense. Okay, past perfect tense. So, when we, uh, yeah, you know, when we, when we hear the word of, when we hear the word perfect, when we are doing tenses, what comes in your mind first? Have, has or had. Isn't it? That comes in your mind. Like, when, you, when we, uh, when we uh, you know, talk about continuous tense, continuous tense rather, what comes in your mind? Verb in the ing form, right? Now, now, you know, we'll keep that in mind. You know, past, per, that is perfect, have, has or had. And we'll see what is past perfect tense. Okay. Now, what is past perfect tense then? Well, the past perfect tense expresses, okay, something that happened in the past and something else that happened even before that. Okay. Now, see, once again, past perfect tense. What is it? A past perfect tense expresses something that has happened in the past okay and something else happened even before that therefore you know it is often used uh, uh, it is often used with the past tense okay now uh, first let's see the what is the structure for this then i mean the you know how is the words placed in a uh, past perfect tense well the structure is subject plus had h-a-d had okay past tense of what have had verb plus what Verb plus had plus verb in the past participle. Past participle, you know, okay. First you have base word, then you have past tense, then past participle, right. So the, the structure is subject plus had plus verb in the past participle form plus object, okay. Now for better understanding, let's see the sentence first, okay. After Tom had repaid his laptop, he fell asleep. Okay, I'm, 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 see the sentence that follows. After Tom had repaid his laptop, he fell asleep. Now, here in this sentence, what do you see? In this sentence, both the action happened in the past, no? Okay, Tom repaid his laptop, Tom fell asleep. See, both the action had, uh, uh, you know, uh, had uh, happened in the past, but repairing of the laptop happened before he fell asleep, isn't it? Okay, Tom repaired his laptop, then he fell asleep. So in this sentence, actually both the sentences, both the action had happened in the past, but which action had uh, to, uh, which action had happened or first or earlier? Well, the uh, his action of repairing the laptop had happened before he fell asleep, isn't it? So why I'm saying you this is well, see, when we have two past action like here in this sentence. We have two past action. First is uh, Tom had repaired his repaired. I'm talking not repaired, repaired past tense. Tom had repaired after Tom had repaired his laptop. He fell asleep. So both the sentences in the past tense, isn't it? Okay. Now, as I said just now, the first action. What was the first action? First action is Tom repaired his laptop. Second action. Uh, uh, second uh, action is what? He fell asleep. Now, why I'm saying first and second is this. See, when we have two sentences, or we have when we have two past actions then we use past perfect we use past perfect if you want to clearly indicate which happened first understood so i'm talking about this sentence i mean this topic is about past perfect tense so when do we use past uh, you know uh, like i was i was stressing on which action you know uh, took first and which action took later why i'm telling you this is that see when we have two past actions Okay, then what do we use? We use past perfect. Okay, we use past perfect if you want to clearly indicate which happened or which action happened first. Okay, so that uh, that's uh, that's about uh, past perfect tense. Now let us see what is past perfect continuous tense. Okay, see, when do we use past perfect continuous tense then? Well. Uh, we use past perfect continuous tense uh, to show something that uh, started in the past, something that started in the past and continued up. Something, you know, that I'm talking about the action which, continue, uh, which uh, started up in the past and which continued up until some another action occurred. I'm talking about past perfect continuous tense. 
when do we use we use when uh, you know we used to show that some action or something has started in the past and it continued up until some another action occurred okay see uh, what is the structure what is the how do we you know what are the how do we put the words in this sentence i mean in past perfect continuous tense then the structure is subject plus had been okay not just had had been plus verb in the ing form plus object okay shall we see the sentence example for better understanding okay see example the ground was wet okay the ground was wet because it had been raining okay so in this sentence see let us see whether that structure is uh, you know fulfilled or not the structure which i was talking just now is fulfilled or not subject uh, the structure was what subject plus had been plus verb in the ing form plus object okay now the structure is okay the subject is first what is the subject here the ground or it it represents the ground here okay then we uh, subject the ground plus had had been rather subject is there what is the subject the ground or an it plus had been plus verb in the ing form what is the verb in the ing form raining Okay, see, this sentence can also be, you know, said in the another way. See, instead of saying the ground was wet because it had been raining, you can also say what? Uh, it had been raining, so the ground was wet. Okay, so these are the, you know, these are the four types of, uh, uh, you know, uh, past tense we studied today. Uh, what, we do, what did we study? Simple past tense, past continuous. Past perfect and past perfect continuous tense. Okay, now see uh, if you, if uh, you know uh, if we want to go uh, you know deeper to the lessons, we can go very deep in in studying about uh, the types and how does it you know um, uh, how does it work and uh, things like that. You know, it's it's, it's it, it, we can go a deeper of our learning of this subject. Okay, uh, the tenses, but we are only doing the uh, that you know we are only studying or we are only uh, touching up uh, those you know that much only how much you know, that much only what is required for class 8 standard okay we are not going very deeper otherwise we are going to get confused whatever i am uh, teaching or whatever i am telling you about the tenses is just for class 8 level for you know it's not for the higher level so we are not going to talk about very high about tenses we just touched uh, whatever is required for the class 8 standard all right well we're going to stop here for today uh, for next lesson uh, kindly get uh, kindly stay tuned uh, in the next class we'll talk about what uh, future tense all right till then stay connected and stay